For me, when I look for a site, I look for something that you know has has an atmosphere, has something that draws me in. You know, whether it's the history or the, of the place, the acoustics. But for water, for me, is a place for for projection. You know, you can really you know project mentally and um, a place for contemplation and reflection. You know. And I also liked the way that it made me think of being a, a, a part, you know, from the, uh, looking at the other, towards the other side of the water. So these feelings of separation and departure are themes that are in the work. <clears throat> uh, the theme, uh, the work New Canaan. And New Canaan has actually um, been inspired by uh, a song from uh, a book, a shape note book and uh, of shape note singing and um, and I've sung the song Parting Friends and the theme of this song is um, Farewell my friends I'm bound for Canaan and it's quite melancholy but it's, it's very beautiful and it's taken from this um, book of um, shape note singing uh, that was written in 1855 um, and shape note singing as you can see is uh, it just makes it much more accessible to people. You know, you don't need to be able to read music. This is a very simplified way of, of, of reading music where each, each uh, um, like fa is a, a triangle, uh, sol is a, a circle, um, la is a square. So it makes it very easy for people to, to follow the music with these shapes, you know. And the tradition is that you all sing in different harmonies and, um, and you sing the first verse in the shape notes and then you sing uh, the words. So that's what I've done. I've, take, I've taken this song, Parting Friends, from this, uh, this Sacred Harp uh, book of shape notes, uh, hymns and, um, or songs. It's not, it's not only hymns, it's also some secular songs too. And... Um, and I've, t I've sung all of the parts myself, the, the soprano, the alto, and the tenor parts, and I've positioned them round the pond. So you experience it as one thing. You, know, you hear all the voices coming together, but because they're, they're just that bit far away from each other, they also sound like they're almost like think you're, it, they're alone. They're, they're alone voices. But if you listen, they're also harmonizing together. So you have this kind of simultaneous experience of the work. You hear it as one, but also separate, you know? And also depending on where you're standing, where you're positioned, you know, you can, uh, you can hear it in different ways. It constantly changes as you walk around the pond. It's very inclusive, you know. You don't have to be, like, to read music. It's very easy to follow the shape notes, so everyone can join in. And also, the, you don't have to be a good singer. You know, the, the, it's, it has, it's very democratic. Anyone can come and, and sing together. And, 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 and so I really like that. And also, it kind of sounds a bit strange when you hear people singing the, the fa so la rather than the actual words, you know. So... So it's, it, was, it's, 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 it was very interesting to me. So, um, so that's what you'll experience when you go down to the pond. You'll hear the sound of three voices singing t together but apart from across the water to each other. And so I, th I enjoy that people just happen upon the work unexpectedly or they're waiting in anticipation for the work. So um, people must be curious about what song about Parting friends, yeah? Yeah, it, it's about saying goodbye and, and, and it's about separation and departure and farewell, my friends, I'm bound for Canaan. Canaan is this um, <laughs> promised land and I like that it refers to Canaan as well, which is where I, I took the title from, um, New Canaan. Uh, so uh, it's, it's just about saying goodbye to your friends, basically. Yeah. Yeah.